trailer maintenance this afternoon. I've got an Eiffel for Williams. I think it's a GD84, 84, um, single axle brake Eiffel for Williams trailer. So that's the manual I've got. I've got to try and service the brakes. It jacked up. So what I did, I put my legs down at the back, lifted up on the jockey wheel, and then just supported it on some timbers in the middle so the wheels are off the ground. Second job apparently is to slacken off that nut there. You can see that down there. Slacken that off so there's absolutely no action of the brake cable on the wheels. Right, so you release the handbrake and then all of you will see that but get right in. So I've done one side. So I've done the offside, and now doing the near side. They say that there's a nut on the back of the drum, but there isn't. It's actually on the front of the drum, which is that nut there. On this one, it's a 17 mil spanner, and you apparently you turn that clockwise until it locks the shoes onto the drum. And they say to make sure you never rotate the wheel in a forward motion as if you were driving forwards. Well, my left shoulder isn't very strong because I've managed to dislocate it about seven times now, so it's not a great deal of strength in my left shoulder. It says to the brakes firmly applied. I take the ratchet cock, push it with your hands. Right, that's that bit done, let's go and read the next bit. And then what you do is you undo them just so the wheels turn freely. I actually think that's, that's just just touching the drum size. Right, with both them nuts done, then you're supposed to operate the handbrake three times. Well, that's different, that's for sure. To centralise the shoes in the drum. Oh, that's definitely different, that is. I'll do it three or four times. The next job is to make sure that this adjuster is parallel with the axle, which is up at this one is. But if not, then you have to undo those nuts and adjust one side or the other so that that linkage is parallel with the ankle. Uh, parallel with the axle you can see in there so it uses weird terminology in the book let me show you so we've done the brakes and the unbreaking everything's fine so the next bit is about adjusting the linkage adjust the nuts on the bowling cable so we've done that adjust the brake rod at the rear so that's right near the bowling cables you, you turn that nut clockwise or anti-clockwise to make sure there is no clearance between the overrun lever and the draw shaft. Now, there's no drawings at all. So the draw shaft is the big heavy steel thing there, that thing there. That's the draw shaft, the one that slides up and down in the headstock itself. And this part here must be... The overrun lever. So we've got draw shaft. And the overrun lever is this bit here. And they say that you don't want any clearance between that. So I've got just a tiny bit now, but I've tightened it up. So I've just got a tiny bit of rock. And there's a little bit of a, I thought it meant that gap there, but it can't be because there's no way you can adjust this up to make that gap tight. So it must be that gap there. So this, you just probably, just here's a tiny little knock as I pull down on that. So that's that bit tightened up. So I think that's what I mean. They'll give you a close up if I can without going upside down we've got a draw shaft up there look that's that thing there with your fingers on and this is the the pin that actuates on it and it makes so as that gets pushed back this gets turned yanks on that pulls the brakes so apparently if you do it too tight the brakes will start to come on which I've just got it starting to bind so I'm going to undo it at that back linkage 
just so the brakes don't bind. This rod here, so I'm going to undo that a little bit. Ooh. Maybe that's tightened it up then. Now I've got to apply the handbrake. And turn each wheel backwards until it locks. Ooh, that feels like it's locked. Now I've just got to tighten up that lock nut, which is that one there, like that, so that's nipped up that one. So now, release the handbrake, tighten the lock nuts, couple the trailer and reverse the trailer. If the brakes lock and the brake rod has been over tightened, readjust the brake rod. So I've got to basically reverse it and if it locks up, Something's too tight. Ah, oh, that seemed relatively painless. The brakes did come on. Well, that's because I've got a little bit of weight in this trailer and as I draw forward down the hill the brakes come on but shunting further forward just a couple of inches release the brake and it reversed back okay so that says that I've done everything right it says couple the trailer reverse it if the brakes lock the brake rod has been over tightened readjust the brake rod so I, I'm gonna say that that is me done so I hope that has been of some assistance because when I read this book I got no idea. Sometimes when you see somebody else doing it, it makes life easier. So thanks for watching.